Get rid of you, and now we go in for Distorted Curiosity. There we go. I think the game's absolutely over now. Now we have solved the case of the Ransacked Lab. And I'm going to Serum Snare my own case. Of the let's go. Let's go for the style points. Serum Snare on our own case. And yes, that is going to let us proliferate. Toxic versus Toxic. Demir, better than Bulgari, I suppose. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode of Man of Man, and today we've got a juicer for it before we dig into the deck. Make sure you leave a like on the video, the button looks just like this, and helps out the channel tremendously, I greatly appreciate it. Feel free to join us in the Discord, in the pinned comment below, and let's dive right into this rant case of the Ransack Lab. Okay, so instant and sorcery spells you're going to cost one less to cast. Now, why are we running this? Typically, in the years past, in the years past I guess in times past, you've seen um, the Mind Splice Apparatus. A lot of times you've seen the Mind Splice app apparatus kind of work with this like Poison Countery deck. Um, this th this card is strictly better. I I mean, I guess I, strictly is a tough word, but the case of the Ransack Lab is way better. It's not only is it a turn sooner, you don't really care about the Mind Splice. Like once you get like two, three, four, five, like five, like you don't care about the Mind Splice apparatus. Get out of here. Get out of here. We're done with that. We got the case of the Ransack Lab. This comes out a turn sooner. And once you get everything that costs one less, you typically just don't care. That's enough. It's I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. If you don't believe me, just wait and see. The case of the Ransack Lab is way better. Um, okay, so we, we, we obviously want to solve the case. Uh, four or more instant or sorcery spells this turn. Even if you don't solve the case, it still can kind of... It's still just like a, a win condition. So, um, obviously solving the case is very, very nice. We've got the Sword of Curiosity. Eventually, we will be able to draw two cards. If you have this out with the case of Ransack Lab... You get to draw three cards, so once you start drawing cards, it's just game over. Um, Infectious Inquiry, like I said, we kind of already seen all this stuff before. Inquiry, when you lose two life, which can be a little bit hard versus aggro decks, but getting that poison counter is so important. The way this deck works, the way the deck works is you need an early poison counter. How do we do that? It's pretty close. You're going to have to get a Skull Dweller, and you're going to have to get a Prologue to Foresta. So, with this deck, you're going to have to make very, very, very aggressive mulligans you're gonna have to do it more often than you would in a normal deck because if you don't have an early poison counter you're not gonna win you're not gonna win if you're sitting there with no poison counters and you're going for oh a serum snare or a drown and eco on their creatures and you're not proliferating you're gonna lose i promise you you're gonna have to get into an early single so prologue to foresis or a skull dweller in your opening hand pretty much every single time that is the deck's biggest weakness other than that it's just like, it feels like cheating. Once you have that initial poison counter, it's basically over. Um, you can consider running that little mosquito, that little flyer, the siphoner, just kind of uh, initiate the uh, the poison exchanges. But um, ultimately, I think this deck is pretty amazing. Serum Snare is like one of the MVPs. It pretty much just bounces anything and the proliferate on top is just absolutely broken. John and Igor, uh, Augury let you proliferate, etc, etc. I don't think I need to go on much about this. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to go for the case of the Rantic Lab, make all of our little proliferate nonsense cheaper, and just see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. So um, don't be afraid of the Restless Reef and the Undercity Sewers. You are going to need, because there is like an awkward amount of black and blue, and because the case of the Rantic Lab brings all of this down to like one, you're going to need those. because so the Mirix actually can be pretty awkward. That colorless mana can end up kind of screwing you. So I do like the Mirix because we're a toxic deck but it can't screw you, so just be careful of that. But this is the deck. It is toxic. We are going in for it, baby. Consider joining the channel. That helped me out monetarily as a content creator. Greatly appreciate that. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. And without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Vike of Viking. All right, so VV versus MM. I think we're going to mulligan this way. We need a quicker way that we can get that initial poison counter. And with the Skull Dweller, we're going to go ahead and keep this. So, ironically, I think I'm going to get rid of... It's either Vrasco's Fall or a land. I think we're going to get rid of a land, which might seem a little bit kooky. But Prolog to Forestus also lets us draw. So, as long as we have Prolog to Forestus, we get to draw. Most likely, we will be able to get into our third land. As long as... Well, Restless Reef, that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's swing in. Let's get our, as I said, the most important part of this deck is getting that initial poison counter, because if you don't have the initial poison counter, all your proliferate stuff is dead. You're not going to win proliferating nothing. Promise you. All right. Oh, so, ooh, they're attacking. Oh, that's, that's got to be a mistake, because I don't see how attacking is going to better you right now. We're going to outrace you. 
So what they should be doing is taking the Evolve Sleeper. They should have just traded the Evolve Sleeper for the Skull Dweller, but I am very happy to oblige. Let's go ahead and get the Case of the Ransacked Lab down. This card is so much better than the Mind Splice Apparatus. So much better. It already serves its function uh, just by making things one less. Yeah, the Mind Splice is better for things that cost X, but this kind of deck does not run that stuff. It doesn't run that kind of stuff. Hey, you, you don't need it. As you can see, the Forest, the, the Prologue is already won. Yeah, they're swinging in, which is absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, like I said, the, the case of the Ransacked Lab does come out a turn sooner, and now we really get to storm off. Let's see if we actually get to solve the case here. Let's see if they actually let me swing in, which they've been letting me do, which it is getting a little close, but ultimately, they're they're not going to be able to do this. So let's go for the Augury. Um, we already did our land drop, I believe, so I think we're just going to take the Curiosity. Curiosity obviously does not give us the, uh, whatchamacallit, counters but it does let us draw so um let's do this this would be spell number two so we do need to draw into something and we do we do get into our draws so now we're gonna be able to solve the case so uh drown and ecor i think we're looking phenomenal now as long as you have like a drown an ecor or a serum stare we're looking pretty good this is gonna cost me one but now look at that we have solved the case of the ransacked lab looking absolutely phenomenal 14 life, so we're not really sweating that. And now every single time we cast an instant or a sorcery, we're going to be able to draw a card. Virtual, that's fine. That is completely fine. My little uh, Phyrexian there just did it. Uh, we've already, the damage are done. You can do that all you want. I don't even know if they have enough for a, a lethal there. And there we go. I think we're looking good. Let's just go ahead and do this. We need just one more card. Uh, it's not going to get it done, but draw. Serum Serum is going to get the job done. The game's over. The game's over, let's snare them, snare them, draw another card, and every single time we get something to go, we're just drawing more cards, so. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go in for, well, it's already over, because we do have the Vraska's Fall, so let's go for Serum Snare. We can also Serum Snare our own case, and another Serum Snare just for good measures, and we don't need a creature to sacrifice, we still have him, so. Good, good game, wow, case of Brain Second Lab, man, looking good. Arajuis, hello, hello. I guess we'll go ahead and keep this. Um, yeah, like I said, this is a pretty good starter hand. Like I said, you just want to make sure that you have at least one way to give them. Oh, well, was a mulligan. Let's go ahead and give our opponent the friendly mulligan. Hello, everybody and his friend. We take a mulligan. Yeah, like I said, as long as you have a way to give them a poison counter, the prologue to Phoresis is like the easiest way, but the skull dweller is a little riskier. But the prologue is just like guaranteed. So. A lightning strike on a creature bodes very, very well for us. They do not want to do that. So let's go ahead and give them that poison counter. We can just kind of wait to do it. But yeah, a lightning strike on our creature for mono red is very, very good for us. So the forge is uh, not really the greatest thing. So hopefully we can get into a serum snare to kind of get rid of this forge. Okay, we, right now this isn't like that big of a worry, but... It, oh, there we go. You ask and you shall receive. Let's go, serum snare. This can take care of the forge. So... Um, we're definitely going to want to go in for the case of the Ransacked Lab first, so I think we just want to get it down. Alternatively, I don't know, maybe going for the, the sewers and getting a, the surveil might be the case. So, well, let's get rid of the other case, and then I think we can just go in for the Serum Snare. But like I said, as long as we have... I think, should I just do this now? Maybe I should just do this now. Okay, well, Squee, okay. Yeah... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll just let this go through. I think maybe now we want to go for uh, the Arabasis Forge. So they had their fun, but now we've got to worry about the Squee. And now I'm just thinking, like, did we get a little too cute? Did we, should we have gone for the case of the Ransacked Lab just a turn earlier? Maybe that was a little bit too cute. Hmm, okay, well, nevertheless, I, oh man. I think now we're going to go ahead and just do it. But now we can go in for Drum to eat in the I think we probably did the best move, right? No, let's, not, let's be a little bit more confident in ourselves. I think that was the best move. So we get rid of the Squee, get rid of the Urabras Forge, and we've got three counters, and we maintain mana efficiency. So. Urabras Forge, now they're up to a 1-1. One, one. That's not that big of a deal. Down to 12, but we got to kind of speed up the pace here. So, ooh, an er experimental augury. Let's waste absolutely no time. Let's just see if we can get some... Ooh. Well, it's going to have to be the Infectious Inquiry, but we do lose life on the Inquiry, so that is not really the greatest thing. So let's go in for the Prologue. More oh a restless reef is like the worst draw ever. Let's do this and hopefully fingers crossed we do get a we do get a curiosity. So even though we don't get to proliferate this way, we do get to solve the case. 
we gotta survive one more turn. If we can survive one more turn, we're probably okay. So the case of the Ransacked Lab has been solved. Magmatic Sprinter. This card uh, has haste, I remember. Two oil count. Oh, two oil count on the, on the forge. Uh, what are we looking at? Down to one. Okay, they're, they're tapped out. Okay, um, how are we going to do this? Okay, so I think we're probably pretty good. We need a little bit of help here. Just want to make sure that we don't go in for the Underground River on anything. So let's go for the Prologue to Foresis. We get to draw another... Ooh, a land. Come on. Draw another card. Inquiry makes us lose life. I guess we'll go for the Fall. Give them up to eight poison counters. Make sure that they're using the Underground River. Serum Snare. Okay, Serum Snare is good. We just need one more. So that's eight. Serum Snare on the Forge. And we just need, like, one more. So, oh, man. I don't know. Dweller's not going to cut it. Okay, hold on. I think we're going to have... Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to have to use this, but we lose two life and then get a poison counter. Is this going to be a draw? I, I, It's better than losing, right? Hold on, let's try it out. We, is this a draw or do I lose? It's a draw! No way! No way! Okay, well... It's better than losing. I mean, okay. Interesting. Alrighty here, we got our Skull Dweller, we definitely can keep this, we can definitely keep this, so. Let's go ahead and get our little Skull Dweller, and hopefully we can sneak into that initial poison counter nice and early with our little Phyrexian insect here. Shadowy Backstreet Boys, this is nice, they come in tapped, so we have all the free reign in the world, let's just sneak right in there. Um, don't really have anything, but like I said, now that we have the option of going for the Serum Snare, you have to have that poison counter so that you can proliferate. So, nothing playing yet, which is fine. Got Dark Slick Shores. I think we're just going to go straight in for the case of the Ransacked Lab. Let's go ahead and not put a stop on there. Whoopsie. And, okay, this is fine. Oh, oh so this is like a Chorus card, so they're going to increase their Chorus stuff here, but that's okay. Case of the Ransacked Lab on turn three, and that is going to set up set us up very nicely. Yeah, like I said, I mean, even if you don't solve the case, just making everything cheaper is is just so effective, man. So this appears to be Mardu. Let's see what you got, Mardoom. 3D Freebooter. Not too worried about that. And that's it. A little weak sauce here, but let's go. Let's go. Um, I don't know if we have enough to solve the case here. I guess we can just do this. I'm not really worried about my life. They have not put my life in peril whatsoever. Another case of the Ransacked Lab. I don't particularly love that. I guess we could have started going for, like, the Snare and the Phoresis, but, yeah, like I guess I don't think we're going to be able to go in for the case yet. So let's just go ahead and commit to it. We will get them nice and juicy on the Poison Counters, though. And now I'm just thinking, do I want to go for the Serum Snare or the Curiosity? Um, I guess we'll just hold the Serum Snare. Curiosity does not give Poison Counters or... Oh, Lord of the Third Path. Um, let's go ahead and resolve that. I'm gonna give him a crying face, because that kind of sucks. <laughs> Alright, so, I didn't go for the Serum Snare, even though we probably could have. Maybe I should, yeah, that was actually kind of dumb, because we should have used the, um... Yeah, <laughs> the Tam- oh, the Tamio emote, that's cute. Okay, I let's go to pass now. Or maybe, yeah, because, like I said, I don't know, maybe that was a little bit unsmooth of me. So we could have gone for the Serum Snare, maybe on like the Freebooter. I think I'd rather just keep it for something else before they killed it, but it's fine. Down to 14, let's see what they got here. So, are they thinking about you? They are, wow, they're, they're good. I don't know. Having me draw a card seems like the, a death sentence, but I guess if they're stuck on land, I, I kind of understand it. All right, another Infectious Inquiry. Big fan of alliteration on the channel. All right, we got a left land here. I don't think I really want to drop down the um, the restless reef here. All the tap lands, we're just we're done with the tap lands here. I think so. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go and drop the augury. Yeah. Ooh, that like I said, serum snare is going to be pretty much like the de facto best thing we have here. So go for the serum snare on the freebooter. Don't want to do it on the lore of the third path because we're trying to solve this case here. Oh, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> it's actually pretty good here. They're going to kill their freebooter. They're going to scry, create a treasure token. Okay. All right. I guess we'll just go for the Vraska's Fall. We'll kind of tap out here. Again, not super worried about our life totals here. So, 
Um, do your thing, scry, treasure. I guess they are a greedy freebooter, so. We miss out on the proliferate that way too, so at least we get to solve the case of the ransacked lab now. So now they got rid of the first case, but I don't think they're going to be able to get rid of the second case. And I stand corrected. I stand absolutely corrected. Let's go ahead and give a crying face. Son of a gun, you killed two case of the ransacked labs, and this one was actually solved, so that burns, but I still don't think we're like in that much of trouble, but that burns for sure. Another freebooter, I don't really care about the freebooter, that's fine. Got a skull dweller. Let's get down the Mirix. The Mirix, we might want to make a token here, but now all of our stuff costs. We're, we're gonna have to pay full retail price here for our stuff, and I don't like that, but let's go for the Sam Snare. Hopefully, I don't have another one. I'm just gonna try it out, see what happens. Oh no, do you have another one? Oh my god. Alright, let's go in for the Vraska's Fall. At least we'll get rid of the Lord of the Third Path. Alright, seven poison counters. But that definitely burns a little bit. And draw two cards, blah blah. No proliferate for us, but then we get the Skull Dweller. Yeah, and uh, hindsight, probably should just gone for the Restless Reef, because now we're sitting here with this awkward Mirix, so that is the downside of doing things too early, so... Felt like this game, I have been a little sloppy this game, but... Alright, seven poison counters. Uh, Tajik Legion's Valor. Ooh, I don't love that. I don't love that. This has first strike, so come right on through. We're gonna need some help here. Ooh, a Serum Snare. Okay, so now we gotta make... Hmm. Ah, the... Okay, so Serum Snare, we don't get to proliferate on the Tajik. If we go for the Recruit, we get this... We get do get it. Then we can't swing with the Skull Dweller. So I think it's like, it's like the same difference, I guess. So what I'm going to do is go for the Mirix token, and then just hopefully we can Serum Snare something. Uh, this is getting a little, little shaky. Um, Rebel Shanti. Let's go ahead and resolve that. It's fine. Getting the Chorus stuff up, which, you know. Okay. Do we want to Serum I mean, I guess we're going to have to Serum Snare. Should I, uh, I guess we have to kind of prevent damage at this point. If we Serum Snare this, we obviously get to proliferate this way. We create a Mirix token. We're going to need to top deck into something anyway. Alternatively, we could have animated the Restless Reef and just blocked the Vindicator, but it is the Restless Reef, we don't really win by damage this way. We're going to have to get... Wait, why did they go? Hold on, hold on. Why did they go for the? This thing can't block, right? Why did? Oh, why did they do that? Vraska's full. I think we just want. Wow, they just gave us the game. That can't block, buddy. Lucanzian, Lucanzian, how are we doing here? All right, so let's see. Um, as long as you have a prologue to Forestus, we're gonna go and keep this. That was a mulligan. That was a mulligan. Let's go ahead and give him a friendly mulligan. Hello, and we'll be on our way. So. Let's just set up for the Restless Reef. Again, I am, you know, I'm just committed to the Restless Reef. A lot of times we don't even have a turn one play, so... A lot of times these, uh, Surveil Lands and the Restless Reef cards do kind of get in the way of progress. Nice little Phyrexian reference there, but I, we gotta run them. We gotta run them. Especially because we have a nice black and blue sources here. If you only run, like, basics, you can kind of get screwed here, but... Let's see what they got here. The Ember Coiler is an interesting little card. Um, they only have this turn to play it, so I would assume they're obviously, yeah, they're gonna go straight in for the Fire Inscription, so hopefully we can find a Serum Snare to kind of get rid of you. And let's see if they block. I actually don't, yeah, there's no way I'm blocking, because we have to get that initial Poison Counter. Fortunately, we do have the Prologue to Forestus, but, yeah, they're probably thinking there, like, do I swing? Because I don't know, it's kind of close. But I'm gonna swing. We gotta get that initial Poison Counter so that we can start uh, proliferating. I would think they do block, because if they, yeah, I was gonna say, if they didn't, if they did it, they would have swung in, so. Let's go in for the case of the Ransacked Lab, and hopefully we can find a Serum Snare, because this Fire Inscription is gonna get out of hand fast. Alright, ooh, another the Ember Coil. This is a cute card, though. I, I do, it's been a hot second since I've played it, but I do like it. So, Experimental Augury, I think we're gonna go in for the Augury, try and find a Serum Snare, because this Fire Inscription, I'm telling you, they drop a, a Ren's Resolve or something like that, and it just gets so insane so quickly. But um, let's just go ahead and just start the party. Oh, okay, we have one. Actually, I don't know why I didn't just go for Augury first, but let's go ahead and mitigate our mistakes here. And there's a Serum Snare. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Now we're looking pretty good here. 
So like I said, just gotta get that initial poison counter here. Let's go in for the Mirk's token first, because it's not letting me do that. I wanna do this first. Fire inscription, and we're looking pretty okay. I know that that activates their prowess abilities, but it doesn't really matter. It's still better to do that. I think I will go for the Augury, or should I just go for the Phoresis? I think we're just looking for more Serum Snares. Unfortunately, the Curiosity does not give poison counters, and we're on the clock here versus an aggro deck, so... I don't know, I'm just gonna grab the land. I think I'm just gonna grab the land here. So now we solved the case. Of course, we just like, you know, solving the case is pretty much the best thing we can do. But we have 20 life. 20 life is pretty gosh darn good versus an aggro deck. All right, they do seem a little bit floody, which is nice. So they dropped the inscription. Ooh, Fusion of Codebreaker. So that's interesting. That's interesting. They, they are not interested in refueling their hand with the Codebreaker, because they can do that. But instead, they dropped that, and now they're just going to go and straighten for damage. So now they don't have a hand. So I guess they do have that Restless Ridge line. Oh my god, thank goodness. A Serum Snare is so freaking good, man. But now with no hand, I don't even know if I want to go for Serum Snare. This is kind of interesting. So this will be five, and now that case is going to allow us to get a, lo a lot more juice here. So... What do I want to do here? We got four more lands. I think we're just going to go for the Phoresis. This makes six. Draw. Okay. Oh, this, these infectious inquiries make me feel a little uneasy. Thirteen. If I do this, I just... We can still Serum Snare, right? The problem is, with the Restless Ridge line... I, I have my eye on the Restless Ridge line. I think I am going to commit to this. We got to get those poison counters up. And there we go. Draw, draw, draw. A lot of land. More land than I'd like to. If I didn't have the Serum Snare, I would not make this move. Let's go and get rid of the Restless Reef. But like I said, with the Serum Snare, this is going to be close. They get rid of this. But if they go for anything, essentially, they can't go for the Restless Ridge line. The Serum Snare is going to be what we need to. So they don't have Lethal here. If they go for the Restless Ridge line, we bounce whatever they strengthen. So, okay, they are going to commit to this. They are. No problem. Um, I think we might be looking okay here. So, if I can't go for the... Uh, I can't do this on the actual Ridge line. So, let's wait until they buff something up with the Ridge line. If they're smart, they'll go infantry to go wide. If they're smart. This is not enough for lethal. Even so, but let's go for the Serum Snare. They are smart, unfortunately. We're going to pay one, but we're going to go ahead and draw... Oh, man, another lane off the top. Not too good, but I think we're good here. No, we're actually good. This is good. I think we won. This is just seven damage. They would have to top deck into a land and a burn spell. Down to three, and we're looking good. Another land off the top. That's okay. And now we actually really don't mind the uh, the Infectious Inquiry, so we don't have to tie. <laughs> so, yeah, Vraska's Fall, we're going to get another little land, and, yeah, definitely want to make sure we use our Mirix while we can. Vraska's Fall, Case of the Ransack Lab, is going to let us draw, and we get a draw to Ecor, and this game is over. This game is over. Whew, all right. Feels good to beat, um... Feels good to beat, like, a Bernie type of deck here, but, yeah, let's go ahead and give him a good game. Oh, oh, what was that? There we go. Clank it up. GG's. They give us a nice thank you so much. GG's, man. Feels good. Hey, the Ransack Lab, man. Aegis. Aegis. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing, Aegis? Aegis Slash? Just kidding. That's Pokemon. All right, let's go for Prologue to Phoresis. That is pretty much, like, the best card ever. So, two of them is better than one. I think that might be, like, the most effective deck or card in the deck here. Just, like, pay two. Poison counter draw. I mean, if my whole deck was that, I'd be pretty happy. All right, Dark Slick Shores. I don't think we're going to go in for it just yet. Let's just wait. Ah, turn one Delighted Halfling is very, very nice. That's what uh, Mono Green Crucius. Um, yeah, well, definitely we can't go for the Serum Snare just yet. We're going to have to go in for the Phoresis, so. That's what turn uh, turn one Mana Dork. That's what uh, Mono Green needs for Standard really badly. Okay, let's go get our Dark Slick Shores down. That is very, very nice. And you know what? I don't know. I mean, nothing seems that sexy here. I think we're just going to go ahead and wait. I might go in for Vraska's Fall, but we're at instant speed, so I guess we can kind of just wait. Ratatouille. Okay, well, I guess we'll go ahead and Vraska's Fall. There is a chance that they go in for the, the Crucius. I mean, probably not. 
Well, we'll do this because when Ratatouille drops, then they get a replacement. So I guess we'll just do this, I guess. Put it up the two counters. But things are looking a little sweaty. Alright. Now I gotta think here. So if I can Serum Snare, Ratatouille's not looking too good of a target. Um, they do have that ward. I can't really pay the ward too effectively, but if I can bounce the Crucius, I guess that could potentially work. Case of the Ra Okay, now that we got the Case of the Ransacked Lab, that is pretty nice. I guess we're, we're gonna commit to the Mirix. And, no, no, let's go in for the Mirix. Why are they doing that? Oh my god, that's such a nightmare, because what I want to do is go in for this. And then if I was to wait for the Serum Snare, they would, um... They would actually, I would actually just be, I would sit there with a colorless Mirix, and I couldn't go for the Serum Snare. So, Auto Tapper, you gotta be better than that, my friend. Do I want to do it now, is the question? I guess not. I guess not. Let's just wait. There is a world they do have, if you're not familiar with this kind of deck, they do have... Oh, Joda. This isn't... Well... Do I... I think we're going to Serum Snare the Crucius. I know it's not great, but three counters. Joda comes out. Not great, but I mean, what else are we supposed to do? 12. We're getting a little bit of help here. We do get an Augury. Augury can kind of help us find an answer. They do seem to be stuck on land, which is actually pretty nice. So another Serum Snare. That's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and keep that four. The Mirix is a little awkward. So is the Swamp. Let's, I guess we'll do this. Up to five. And we get a blue source. Okay, the blue source is very, very nice. Let's go and drop our island. Distorted Curiosity. And I think we are going to have to just go in for Serum Snare on the Jota. Or another just... Ooh, okay, so we want to solve the case. we got one more. Three out of four on the case of the Ransacked Lab. I think we're going to have... Like, we don't get the proliferate this way is the problem. We can't pay the ward cost. I think we're going to do it on the Jota. So, it's actually like... We did get the case going. We didn't get to proliferate that way, which sucks. You definitely do not want to do that. But... I don't know. With Distorted Curiosity, we do get to draw quite a bit. And now they're kind of screwed on land. I think we're looking okay. Relic of Legends. Okay, that makes sense. This is a legendary deck, so... Down to nine. No problem. Yeah, as long as we keep the, the case, we're... we're uh, oh! Oh, son of a gun. Oh... Oh, that's so bad. Oh my god, that was definitely our win condition. Oh god, alright, well... Oh, that... Now now we're sweating. Now we're sweating big time here. Um... We gotta proliferate. I get... Oh, man. This costs four. We gotta pay the ward cost. I think we're better off just going in for legends. Let's do this first. Let's just see if we can draw into something. Okay, well, that's pretty good. It's actually really good. So, Vraska's Fall, get rid of Ratatouille, and a Poison Counter. They don't get to replace itself, so that's actually really nice. We get around the ward that way. Okay, we're actually looking pretty good here. They can really storm off with this, though. I think we're going to have to maybe... Let's just do this. Inquiry. Oh, this is close. Nine life. We got to pay full retail cost, so we don't have the, the case out. So, it just costs three. Which is problematic. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, man. I don't know. That That's a little wishy-washy. If I had the case out, obviously it would be a no-brainer keep. But we already have an inquiry. And, we, and it's full retail price. So... Oh, it's rough. That's rough. Alright. So just, okay, so we got to be careful here. If they get into a Ratatouille, a Pilgrim, it's not likely, but in the Boromir. Oh my god, so there's the Ratatouille. Okay, we got to be careful here. I think we'll just go in for the Inquiry before we do anything. Doesn't really help us a whole lot. Skull Dwellers, okay, I suppose. Seven Poison Counters. Let's drop our Skull Dweller. And... Uh, 
Let's drop you. I think I'm gonna go for the map token. I would just let's just see if we can get into something that can proliferate off the top. I know I don't get to draw it, but all green. That's actually really good. That's actually really really good. We get to proliferate that way. And okay, so here's the problem. I think it just comes down to do they have a, a Boromir? Because like. We can wait to do this. I don't think it really matters. They've got enough mana to do this. I think we're looking good. As long as they don't have a Boromir for that infinite combo, we're looking good. So here's the Pilgrim. Because now they have Ratatouille, the Pilgrim, they have the Pingage every single time something comes on the battlefield. So if they have Boromir, they can have the Ratatouille, but... Ruby, only one card left in their hand here. Okay, I think we're looking good. As long as they don't have Boromir, we win. Yeah, because then we go for the experimental augury. We're look I think we're looking. Boromir. That's so disappointing. The game's over. Lock. Yeah, as soon as they do this, they have got the unlimited loop. That sucks. That was a winnable match, but good game. Ricky Trooper. Ricky Trooper, how you doing here? I'm going to keep this. If we were on the draw, I think this would be an easy mulligan. Because we don't have a way to give a poison counter until turn three, but... We're on the play. I think we can make this work. I said you're never ever wanting to go in for proliferation before you have a poison counter because I promise you you're just gonna run out of steam that way. All right, yeah. Like I said, this is a little risky, but we can make it work. Swift water cliffs looking pretty good. Dark slick shore, sure, sure. Pun very intended. See how looking good. Now turn. Even if they don't drop a creature, which I would rather than drop a creature, we can just go for Roska's fall. Props, Eidectic Memory. Really, really fun card here. But yeah, I'm not going to go for the Serum Snare. No way. No way, no how. Drown an Ecor and we'll pass. So Vroska's Fall obviously being an instant. Hopefully they do drop something here. Perfect, perfect. Oracle of the Alpha is going to be absolute. Oh, let's not get a little too jumpy here. Let's go in for Vroska's Fall. Yeah, you get the Power 9. As if the Power 9's good. I think there's like a Black Lotus or something behind me. Whatever, not worried about it. All right, it's kind of an awkward situation here. I don't want to say awkward. Word. I mean, it's definitely not bad, but there's not a whole lot of times we can make use of the Mirix token, but I think we're going to go for it. So, Rona, sure. Let's see what else you got here. And a Pros, another one. Well, that's a legendary. So, I mean, that's actually really awkward for them because not only is that legendary, but you don't get to do the thing with Rona. So, that's actually fine with me. I am not going to get rid of this creature. Let's not get rid of Rona. I'm actually going to make a Mirix token because on our turn, we can get rid of Rona. And now we got a Mirix token to go in. That is a lot better in my opinion. So this actually is like looking really good. Uh, Drown and Ecor is going to be able to take care of Rona, Sorcery, but they get to proliferate. And as long as now we get our little Might token in. So the Mirix actually is making pretty good use here. And now, oh man, I think they're in... I, I think they're in trouble. I don't see how they're going to be able to get out of this. I mean, we have so much proliferation. The Bath Song is fine. Draw two cards, they discard a card. Well, they can't go in for anything super crazy just yet, so draw two cards, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I guess, yeah, I'm just going to Serum Snare this right now. So, yeah, I'm mean, like, so this is this is looking pretty good here. Up to four. Infectious Inquiry, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, make sure, I just want to make sure that the Mirix token is being, or the not the Mirix token, but Mirix is being used. Um, I guess we'll do this. I don't really want to go for Distorted Curiosity. I'd rather just hold up the Serum Snap. But yeah, six Poison Counters. They don't really have that formidable of a board uh, to ferry. Uh, I think we're looking pretty phenomenal here. I don't see them being able to come back from this. To ferry is fine. Uh, it's, it's fine. The entire multiverse <clears throat> is at stake. Oh, I was going to say, hopefully they drop something that I can use uh, Serum Snare on so we can actually proliferate. But this Wall of Runes, that's going to do the trick for sure. We just bounce that and get a free uh, proliferation here. Yeah, I think we just, yeah, we're looking absolutely phenomenal. It's nice to see a familiar Doesn't really face. matter what we go for. I guess we'll go ahead and for you, because when Frosts fall, they can actually get rid of the, the Teferi, which could be a little awkward here. So And now we've got to drown an Ecor, and there's just absolutely no worries. Not a single worry here. And let's go ahead and for you, sure. This is going to create, what, eight? And we swing in. Let's go for Roscoe's Fall. Even if they get rid of... Yeah, now we get rid of the Teferi. Because it's actually a creature or a Planeswalker up to nine. And our little might. So the Mirix token, even though we only made one counter with the Mirix, that's going to do it. Oh, Leo. Whoa. 
How you doing, old Leo? Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Got a Skull Dweller, so let's be on our way. We're looking good, looking good. As long as we get into that third land for the case of the Ransacked Lab, we are going to Ransack ya. Oh, Leo. Oh. Oh, Leo, are you there? Oh, Leo. Do I got it? Hold on. Okay, there we go. There we go. We are there. All right, another case of the Ransack Lab is actually not very good, but no, it is good. A turn two poison counter, and we're looking good. All right, as long as we can get into that third land, we're looking good, but I'm a little nervous. This deck really only needs three land, and then you can start popping off, because we have a lot of draw, a lot of whatever. The... At the end of the day, I think this deck is, it's just like a mid-range deck. It's definitely not a control deck, and it's definitely not an aggro deck. It's definitely something completely unique. Thank goodness we do get into the swamp, but now that they have the Symphonier, um, I would think they want to block, but they do not. That's fine with me. Let's go in for the case of the Ransacked Lab. I think they are light years behind us. So now that we have the case of the Ransacked Lab, if they're an also a poison deck, I think they're most likely not going to be able to catch up here. So Infectious Bite, that is the upside of being more creature heavy and going in for the Infectious Bite rather than being more spell heavy like us. So, I think we're going to go in for the Infectious Inquiry. I definitely want to at least drop another land here. Uh, Rest of Sweep isn't great, but like I said, we kind of need the dual lands, so we'll do that, and then I guess we'll go for the Drawn Discord. I think they miss a land drop, I believe, but now we clear the board up to four. It's four counters to two. We got a case of the Ransacked Lab, and we got more land than them, so I think we'll... Ooh, Rot Priest. Well, let's... Ooh, Okay. Let's go for the Experimental Augury, just see what we can find. Vraska's Fall is actually really good. If we use the Vraska's Fall against the Rot Priest, I mean, that's obviously just like, uh, we just get rid of it. You know what? I'm going to be a little risky here. I guess, I guess it's not risky, but let's go for the Distorted Curiosity and just see if we can snag another land. We may be able to solve the case here, but I don't know. And we actually can. We actually can solve the case because if we go for Vraska's Fall, we can absorb the black here. Get rid of you, and now we go in for Distorted Curiosity. There we go. I think the game's absolutely over now. Now we have solved the case of the Ransacked Lab, and we got all this stuff in our hand. Six Poison Counters. This game looks to be pretty much sealed. Oh, Leo. Whoa. Let's see what you got here. Oh, a Blightwing Help. That's a nifty little card here, but it's not going to save you, my friend. <clears throat> Not going to save you. I guess we'll go in for Vraska's Fall. That makes seven. We're going to go and give him a good game. We're going to give him a good game. Is this premature? I don't think so. Maybe slightly, potentially. But with all the draw, I guess we'll uh, we'll just do that. So actually, we can actually just Serum Snare our own case. And I think we're just going to do that. So up to eight. Inquiry. Yeah, this game's over. Inquiry. Looking good. Poison counter, and I'm gonna Serum Snare my own case. So the, let's go. Let's go for the style points. Serum Snare on our own case, and yes, that is going to let us proliferate, even though it is our own non-land permanent. Looking good here, man. So, Toxic versus Toxic, Demir. That is Bulgari, I suppose. Sales Watch. Hello, Sales Watch. I'm hungry for me a sandwich. That's what you remind me of. A Rune Lurker Bat. All right. Well, I don't care. You can have all the lifelink in the world. I do not care about your actual life total. I care about your poison counters that are on you. So, Dawn of the New Age. All right. That's a cute card, but I do not care. You're going to draw a card and blow up, gain life. Oh, I do not care. Do not care about your life total, my friend. Um, I don't think I'm going to swing in. I don't really want to trade. Uh, hold on. Should we actually just go for... If I didn't have the Prologue to Foresis, I think I would kind of be a little bit more meticulous about this, but... This is fine. This is fine. They're, so they're nervous to swing in, which makes sense. They do not want those poison counters. So let's go ahead and give them something to worry about and initiate a nice little poison counter for them. So now, um, I think I'm just going to go in for the case of the Ransacked Lab. I think that's the best move that we can have on turn three. And I'm not going to swing in. No, 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 no. Not, let's not swing in here. I want to keep my Skull Dweller nice and safe. Hollow would be thy name. Here's a Hollow Priest. Okay. No problem. Takasi is welcome. And a Warden of the Inner Sky. Let's see. Are you feeling froggy, my friend? <clears throat> Are you going to swing in? They are. Oof, nope. Not a good choice. Not a good choice. I have two Drowned Equal. Of course, they don't know that, but... Now I have a Serum Snare, so we've got uh, multiple forms of removal here. Let's get rid of the Warden of the Inner Sky. Up to two. Let's get rid of the Hollowed Priest. Yep, let's do this. I'm going to pay the one. Do not care about that one iota. 
Now up to three. Oh, see how out of hand, how quickly this gets. And now we swing in for the fourth. And that's why we held back our little Skull Dweller. And you know what? We don't get to solve the case this way. We were just one short. Man, that Mirix token sometimes really hurts. I keep going with the Mirix token, but you know what I'm saying. Hallowed. Priest again. Let's see if they get a little bit too comfortable. And swing in. Don't, oh, that's not a problem. Let's see if they get they swing with the uh, the bat. They do not. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let's go in for the Serum Snare. We definitely want to make use of this. And um, yeah, looking good here. Let's wait. Let's actually wait here. Curiosity killed the cat. Hopefully it kills the Sal's Witch. Um, I guess we can go for the Swamp with the Vraska's Fall. We can kind of eat this up with the Mirix. The colorless Mirix can definitely be problematic. Let's do this. And like I said, there's not much to think about here. We're looking pretty gosh darn amazing. Let's do this. Kill the Hollow Priest, and we're going to go up to 7 after this combat. Looking great. Again, we're just short of being able to solve the case. Ah, I was going to wait. See, I didn't... Horn of Gondor. That's not that big deal. I was going to wait to go for the Sim Snare on that other turn. Dark Slick Shores is really awkward, which is not great, but... I think we're just going to do this. Let's just kind of put on the pressure. See, now because we don't get to go for the case, which is a little bit scary. And Dark Slick Shores, and then we go for the Mirix token. They give us a good game. It's not a good game yet. I don't... Um, Let's go ahead and give a Tamiyo. Because I'm not going to plank them up GG's yet, because we don't have a good game yet. If they drop two different things here, and I can't proliferate, I mean, we can sit here for a while. Ruin the Gravat. Okay. So I can't swing in. Alright, let's go ahead and make another Might. Ah, we came short of the case of the Ransack Lab twice. See, oh, there we go. Undercity Sewers. Let's see if we can at least find something to proliferate. There we go. That's a, Hey, that will do it. That is absolutely fine with me. I think we'll just stay put. There's no point in swinging in. We'll create another token, but I think we're good now. Now that we have the Prologue to Forestus, as long as we have one more Poison Counter, um, let's go ahead and give a Tamiyo. Let's go ahead and match their energy. Impression Orator. They can gain, like I said, they can gain all. This deck is like this deck's Kryptonite because they're kind of a slower deck, like this Mono White, Horn of Gondor, etc., etc., but... We are their kryptonite because they're going to gain life. They're going to build a big board. I don't really care for the most part. Like, we just cast our little spells. We give you your stuff. Case of the Gateway Express. I don't really care. I'm going to kill my little Skull Dweller, which is absolutely fine with me. Yeah, this deck is absolutely your kryptonite, my friend. I do not care about your life gain. Ruin Lurker Bat. They're going to scry. Sure. Not that it matters, but we'll go ahead and generate another little mite just for the fun of it. And, um, what, what a moto are we, what are the moto are we thinking here? I guess we'll give him some spankings. Sure. Let's give him some spankings here. Prologue for us is gonna, gonna do it though, but good game. Uh, yeah, like I said, they had no shot. We are absolutely their kryptonite. There we go. G, G's.